Look at him chilling with his stomach out. And he got his arm up on the little breast. <laughs> his eyebrows. I'm like, I'm so serious. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Marina. Hi, hello. I have postpartum anxiety. Probably didn't tell you guys that, but now I'm telling you. <laughs> I actually did get diagnosed with postpartum anxiety when I was four months postpartum. I went to go see a doctor. I didn't so much have postpartum depression, so I can't I can't really speak on that topic, but with, with anxiety, I mean, you constantly think of every single bad thing in your head. All right, guys, so we're gonna talk about the main tips that helped me with my postpartum anxiety. So let's start with the first one. Exercising was just a way to kind of escape all of that emotional damage that I have. It can help make you think better. It can help you with problem solving. Enjoy your emotional balance. Just ensuring your brain that it's healthy and keeping a healthy mindset is always top key. The second thing that helped me with postpartum was I stopped watching crime channels. I had to um, cut all scary movies, scary crime shows, and these ID channels, and I don't watch anything with children that are dying. I don't watch, uh, like, I don't know if you guys have seen the new American Horror Story show. Me and my husband were watching it. I immediately stopped watching it because one of the women were eating babies. So, you know, it's, it's to other people it sounds so stupid because they're just like, it's, but it's fake, you know, it's just a movie. Self-care is over top. Skin care, makeup, hair, clothing, you know, self-care overall makes you feel good. So... I feel like when I look good, I feel good. Another thing I did do too, um, I still do this every day, is I went on birth control to regulate my hormones. My progesterone and my estrogen was like this. Now I'm like this. So I'm able to balance my hormones with birth control. Obviously the first week of birth control, every time I get, I got the depo, depo pervera shot, something, depo shot right here in my arm. So I feel like finding the right birth control for your home hormones is the top key. It's, it's one of the most important things for you as a woman, especially if you don't want another baby so fast, get on birth control as like the first time they're able to offer it to you. I see a gynecologist regularly. If you have breast problems, you know, down there problems, or you know, just overall as a woman, go see a gynecologist. I mean, you should at least see them once a year, at least just to make sure you're on track with your health and your body and taking blood tests and making sure your birth control's um, doing its job and making sure you are good, not only on the outside, but on the inside. And the other thing I did do was understanding what postpartum anxiety was. I read about it, I watched videos about it, I talked to my doctor about it. Just overall getting information about the anxiety or depression, whatever you're having. Last thing that helped me was praying. While dealing with negative thoughts, um, it was a coping mechanism for me, like, kind of like a safe scape, kind of like when you're a kid and you put a blanket over your head because you feel like the monster is under the bed or he's going to come get you. You put a blanket and wrap yourself in it. Well, praying for me is like wrapping myself in a blanket. I feel secure. So you don't have to do that, but it is something that makes me think so very positive. Just hang in there, mom. It's, it's not going to be easy after you have a baby, not even during the pregnancy. Um, it's crit it's very incredible what women do and uh, there's a bug in here and you can do it and you should always believe in yourself no matter what i have times where i don't believe in myself but i practice all these things that i have offered to you guys um i do this on a daily basis because i have to you know find time for yourself i know it is super hard that's one of the hardest things that i struggle with as a mother is that finding time for myself and exactly what i love to do and what i want to do throughout the days and especially like during nap times when my son is taking a nap as of right now i take this time for myself i take this time to do diys or my makeup or my hair or you know just to refresh myself to make myself feel a little better. So just keep going, keep doing it. You got this. I love comments. I love reading your guys' comments. I've gotten a few comments in a few videos, so I have replied to those. And if you guys have any more questions, go ahead. Uh, like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button on your post notification so you can see my next video. And I will see you guys next time.